rules, seven years of minister violations of the most basic of rights. You tweet. Unfortunately, this is how the British government decided to put its interest ahead of the interest of the general public, who are totally in favour of supporting poor nations and totally against oppression of weaker countries. Eventually, Selassie returned from exile in England to liberate Ethiopia from fascism. We are here to celebrate the democratic revolution of 2011. And I want to say that the most democratic people in the world, and you, sir, are not one of them, the most democratic people in the world are the people of Bahrain. Thank you all for coming on this cold day, but it represents how warm your feelings are towards those who are oppressed in Bahrain and elsewhere. The people of Bahrain feel that they have been aggrieved, they feel that they have a case and they have a cause. And they are, it is a noble cause that needs the support of those who love democracy. If you love democracy, then you support those who are calling for it. If you love and respect the human rights, then you, they, you, it is duty on you to support those whose rights are violated. Well, this is the situation that some families uh, are facing right now. To be precise, there are nine women imprisoned right now simply for fighting for their, for their freedom and greater democracy as we speak. On the seventh anniversary of the revolution in Bahrain, I plan to speak in regard to the continuing brutal repression orchestrated by the Saudi, Emirati and Bahraini rulers. As an English citizen though, I can't just criticise these regimes because the UK plays such a crucial imperialistic role in backing these powers. The, the apartheid system which I describe the system in Bahrain as the denial of democracy and human rights for over half the population. And shame Saudi Arabia and the UAE as being direct contributors to the violence in Bahrain and the UK government is also indirectly responsible through selling weapons and tear gas canisters and bullets that have been used to shoot and kill the Bahraini pro and quell the Bahraini protest movement. This is where we stand Britain is an imagined community. Like every class society, it is split down the middle and the Labour movement has expressed solidarity with the opposition to the regime which the British ruling class and their state is supporting. So this is as things should be because when you look at the history, every Bahraini knows, when you look at the history of opposition to Khalifa, who has been at the heart of the opposition? The Bahraini trade unions.